Hi, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable Deluxe Edition 2 VR mod thing. Let's get in it. Um, so, yeah. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a... Right, there we go. So, yeah, last time I was in here... I did a thing, and I kept... So I did door 430, finally got that achievement. Should there be a gone. bucket there? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hang on, is the bucket in this room or the next room? Now I'm really confused. So the last time I was in... Ah, that's a bucket. Come here, bucket. A good bucket. A strong bucket, a humble bucket, right. a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. Oh, not that way. Um, so, yes, I, I did 4.30. Stanley clutched the bucket And also, to his, I made it across that warehouse the area, didn't I? Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct, was no... Never mind, the bucket was wrong. <laughs> so, Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. I came across here and went through. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room, go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes, go there, go to the cargo lift. That's new. So, yeah, I, I hadn't, so presumably that's the cargo lift. And I hadn't used the cargo lift before, I hadn't gone across the cargo lift before and so i did it this time uh, last in my last session but i wasn't carrying the bucket so i'm going to do it with the bucket this time but, and i also picked up that thing over there didn't i and then went through there and there was stuff but let's do the cargo lift it's also got me wondering now is there anything through there can i jump off the cargo lift and go through there so that's a thing as well isn't it good said the bucket now ride the lift all the way to the top there's something up there i need you to do Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley, I wonder if I can drop down onto the. I'm not going to do it this time. He was firmly convinced that the bucket to had think spoken about. to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. So let's do this. So yeah, this this is new for me again. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. What dark room? Oh, that dark room. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up. Okay. It's all gone wide. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. <laughs> okay, just a room. Hello Stanley, it's me, your bucket. Press any button to make me work with you. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. It's there. Keeps disappearing. Come back, bucket. Press any button to take me back home with you. Lately, <laughs> I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Press any button to go back to work. This is all well, feeling anyway. quite familiar. Stanley, <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it would ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. It can That's transfer it. solids. It doesn't do anything else. Potentially even a gas if it's heavier than air. Don't listen to the loud man. 
press any button for us to go back home. Do I have any other choice though? I can trust the bucket. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is this awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Press any button to ignore anyone in your life except for me. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this I like sort how of the light is shiny changing. bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. I mean, it could be better. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press any button to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. It doesn't have to just be liquid. Press any button to relieve this same day, relive this same day with me over and over. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Because you are the bucket. Press any button to go home to work to home to work to home. Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings for the bucket. No 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. It's a dangerous amount of candles. Where does that go? What's through there? What's through there? Hang on a second. There's something in there. Is it a walk-in wardrobe, maybe? It's got to be a wardrobe, right? It must be a wardrobe. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... Go back to work, Stanley. Ah. Okay, so that's different. All well, of his co-workers were gone. I've got to try what this. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Ignore Perhaps the bucket. Simply missed a memo. Go this way. Get the right when door. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Have I taken the bucket down there? I can't remember if I've taken the bucket down there. So many Stanley permutations so I probably still haven't tried. It's incredible he wasn't fired years right. ago. I want to see if this works. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else. Do you think I can make the jump? The or do you think it's gonna kill me? The story me? has been about nothing but you all this time. Get ready, someone get ready, get ready. Go. Someone really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to okay, help this you is new. to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove and that then I'm on presumably the Presumably I can take Give the bucket this way as well. Oh. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked <gasps> through that <gasps> door. And there it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. <laughs> so, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. 
and now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Yes. Now what? Yeah, we're all closed off there. Uh, let's go through the blue door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Did he? I still don't think we're communicating. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> no, blue. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. Oh. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Oh my god, there's a whole new see, area that I didn't know about. Here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. What about a jetpack? What. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh, I see. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> He's giving me too many choices. Should I go for the thing he thinks I want to do, or should I just go, no, sod you, and I'm going to go on. Let's do it. Let's play along. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I'm going to go for... Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rowing. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable. Worldwide leaderboard. I better be at the top. <laughs> yeah, but where am I? Did you know that 21 point... Uh, is that actually how long I've been playing? You're objectively ranked 9,328 9, players world, worldwide. Why not ask some friends for help? Error, friends list empty. <laughs> uh, did you know that 21.3% of players skip the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. <laughs> uh, should we go this way again? Now, would you say oh. that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Absolutely. Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? No. Perfect. Let me boot it up. Is it the beginner's guide in VR? In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. <laughs> so why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. How close can I get? You gonna let go all the way? Okay, I'm just not gonna do anything this time. You 
you heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. Why I not can't both think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm That's done. actually quite good fire. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Aha! Fascinating. Ha. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious. If this is what I think it is, creepy man I literally bought this below you last from week. Up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Um, I've actually forgotten the name of the game, but it was on sale, um, Jen Steam Winter Sale, I think it was, and I realised it was, um, it would run on the Steam Deck. Is it Firewatch it's called or something like that? It's like massively like it. Is this a, a nod to that in some way, shape or form? And yeah, I haven't actually um, installed it yet or started playing it. I'm saving it for after I've finished... Um, what am I playing? Uh, Bring us the moon? Fetches the moon? I forgot what it's called. But you know the one I mean anyway. Uh, and um, I want to finish that and then I'm going to be playing this because it seemed like a perfect Steam Deck game. This looks massively like it. It's got to be a nod to that, right? Ooh. Let's go downstairs. Which now? No, 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 no! It can't be. Makes me want to see if that's got a VR mod because maybe I shouldn't play it on the Steam Deck. Maybe I should play it in VR. Holy crap! I wasn't expecting this. It is. It's an open world game. Good God! Quickly, block it off. <laughs> 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 oh, goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You really wandered off into that that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. There's a gap in the wall. Out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big... Insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay. Why do I always struggle I to remember the name of games I'm thing. playing? Wonderful. Oh, see, this is exactly what I had in mind. Um, rock Just oh, a nice it says right there, doesn't it? Rocket League. Oh my God, I haven't there played Rocket League for ages. That you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, Rocket I will be in VR. How impressed. awesome would that be? I want Rocket League okay, in VR. Okay, so what now. exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes. I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Give me a car. Oh, I can run faster suddenly. That's interesting. I'll walk faster. Bonk. Oh, that's really satisfying. <laughs> oh my god. I need Rocket League in VR. I'm gonna get goal. Are you doing it? Yes. Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Actually, it really Stanley, is. Stanley, I have a thought. 
and I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. Yeah, it's called snooker. Out. Here comes another ball. Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. Give me more. I want more balls. I want more to play snooker. Balls. Uh, that one bounced on my head. That was awesome. I'm sorry, but Rocket League in VR needs to be a thing. Holy crap, this would be so much fun. Are you I'm sorry. Are you I having fun? I actually am. Is this am. a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. That's right. Huh. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I'm structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my... Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Daddy, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Daddy, come back. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Oh, this this has a vibe to it. I can't think what the vibe is, but this this is a certain vibe. It's a little bit Portal Two, maybe when you're in the really old parts of Aperture Science. Oh, what's that? I'm trying to read what that is. I can't read what that is. There's also a bit of a back rooms vibe about this as well. Okay, I can't play with anything. Oh, it's all gone dark. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end, to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Now what? Do we wait? Ha! <laughs> oh! The balloons have gone. Also, that doesn't look right down there. There's something wrong. That doesn't look right at all. But I think I'm going to leave it here. Because that was a good little session. Something's wrong down there. Oh, go on, we'll have a look. I was going to make that the end. Ha! Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, <laughs> it's those figurines, those figures. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines, just one more time. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. Ah, 
here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Interesting. I won't let me back through there. Ah. I veered off and I was expecting him to get annoyed that I'd veered off. And here was the second Stanley. Oh, you found this right, one all yes. on your own just by poking around behind the boss's office. You did that, Stanley. Oh, I should have grabbed I'll the honest, other one. Back then, I had Damn. no faith in you to find any of them. Now let me have the other one. Six. I didn't grab it. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? It was definitely the bathroom. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. <laughs> Citation Let's needed. See. What came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here Me in the neither. memory zone, so it must have happened. I never seen this room before in my life. Oh, hello. Ah, yes. This was one. the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. We'll go out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfortunate that this screen's a bit too close to your face in VR. you back doesn't it i spent a lot of time making that video but it was eight minutes i wouldn't have spent on anything else now what so i can definitely go that way um again and next time i should take the bucket that way shouldn't i i don't think i can make it down here i still want to get down I feel like you should be... I don't know if that's just trolling, that door being open. I feel like I want to go down that door. What happens if I jump down here? Oh, there's so many permutations. I could jump down there and I'm probably going to die. It's probably going to put me back at the start. Or I can go through here. I don't know if I... No, I haven't finished the memory thing yet, have I? So what would have happened? And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, Yay. the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct. I can't believe I'm 11 of, of 6. I didn't click it was on the, the first one. one. That happened more recently That's than so annoying. The Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a fiddly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Ha. Huh. 
Okay. You are in the present. And then there was Whoa. no... Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. No. No, don't let me do it again. Can I really do it backwards? Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the things <laughs> we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. It is happening again. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? It is happening again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and stuff. Yes. That was backwards. I love that video. What happens if I go off the edge? I won't let me go off the edge. Ah, uh, okay. I was going to try and screw with it by jumping off the edge, but it wouldn't let me. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Yeah, Still you no need both. This one. Good room, though. A solid room. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Hmm. It's not gonna let me down now. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep well, is going. There a gap in the floor there. There's a gap in the floor there, but I can walk over it. Is that just <laughs> a screw up? This is it. I didn't grab the this very first, first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figurines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Collect them all. You can find them. Can you forget? Blah, 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 blah. And stuff. <sighs> this game is just such one huge troll. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were cool. originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want... Oh, yes! The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. Oh. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each this decision with profound VR. thoughtfulness. And it's then put me in a really weird way, angle. I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with well, I got no know, hands. A character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But ah, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. 
Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling this story so very much. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. All right. <laughs> the balloons are back. That's definitely the thing back. I have no idea what's going on now. I don't even know if like that gave me the impression that I've pretty much done the game, but like there's definitely things I haven't done yet. Like that last route that I did where I jumped off the um, uh, the cargo lift thing. I could do that with the bucket next. That feels like a thing I could do. So I'm definitely going to do that one next time. Try that next time. I don't trust this. I, I mean, I've never trusted this game all the way through anyway, but I definitely don't trust this game now. I am so delightfully confused. I, j I like this game so much. Um, is it even a game? I don't know. And I'm even more thrown and confused by the fact that it is in VR as well. So, you know, this, as I said before, this is the first time I've ever experienced a Stanley Parable and I'm doing it in VR. So I kind of am interpreting everything as a VR experience. I can't even imagine what this will be like on flat screen. Because the fact that I'm actually in here just gives it this level of presence and being screwed with that I don't think I would have got if I'd been playing it flat screen. <sighs> messes with your head, man. I swear, it messes with your head in the best possible way. Anyway, from this dip, into the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition 2 in VR, I think. I've lost track of what I'm playing now. Goodbye.